Lockheed Martin just dropped a bombshell announcement that's sending shockwaves through Eastern Europe. The most advanced F-16 ever built, the Block 70 Viper, has officially completed production for two NATO nations sitting right on Russia's doorstep. Bulgaria and Slovakia are about to receive fighter jets so advanced, they make Russia's front-line fighters look like museum pieces. But here's what nobody's talking about. This delivery changes everything about NATO's eastern flank. Let me show you exactly why Putin should be losing sleep tonight. Just days ago, Lockheed Martin confirmed the completion of F-16 Block 70 production at their Greenville, South Carolina facility for both Bulgaria and Slovakia. Bulgaria ordered eight of these advanced Vipers in a deal worth $1.67 billion, while Slovakia secured 14 aircraft for approximately $1.8 billion. These aren't your grandfather's F-16s. The Block 70, also designated F-16V, represents the absolute pinnacle of fighting Falcon evolution after five decades of continuous development. Both nations are replacing aging Soviet-era MiG-29s, aircraft that Moscow can no longer support with parts or upgrades. The timing here is absolutely critical. With the war in Ukraine raging just kilometers from their borders, Bulgaria and Slovakia are fast-tracking their transition to pure NATO standard equipment. So what makes the Block 70 so devastating? Let's break down the technology that has Russian military planners genuinely concerned. First, the APG-83 Scalable Agile Beam Radar, or SABER. This is the same AESA technology found in the F-35 Lightning II, scaled down for the F-16 platform. It can track multiple targets simultaneously, jam enemy radar, and detect threats at ranges that would make older radar systems completely obsolete. The Block 70 features a massive high-resolution center pedestal display, essentially bringing F-35-level situational awareness to the Viper platform. Pilots can process battlefield information faster than ever before. But here's the lifesaver, literally. The automatic ground collision avoidance system has already saved countless pilots' lives, automatically recovering the aircraft if the pilot becomes incapacitated or disoriented. The Block 70 also features an extended structural life of over 12,000 flight hours, extended range with conformal fuel tank capability, and full integration with NATO's Link 16 tactical data network. These jets will seamlessly communicate with every NATO asset in European skies. Now, here's where this gets strategically fascinating. Bulgaria controls access to the Black Sea, the same waters where Russia's fleet operates and where tensions with NATO run highest. Slovakia shares borders with Ukraine and sits as a critical gateway between Eastern and Western Europe. By fielding Block 70 Vipers, these nations aren't just upgrading their air forces, they're plugging critical gaps in NATO's Eastern Air Defense Network. These aircraft can conduct air superiority missions, precision strikes, and advanced reconnaissance, all while sharing real-time data with American F-35s, German Eurofighters, and Polish F-16s. Russia's response capability is severely limited. Their own fighter production is crippled by Western sanctions, with reports indicating they're struggling to produce even basic Su-35s. Meanwhile, NATO's Eastern members are receiving the most advanced Western fighters ever exported. The message to Moscow is clearly crystal clear. Any aggression toward NATO territory will be met with overwhelming, technologically superior air power. Deliveries to Bulgaria have already begun, with the first aircraft arriving in 2024 and full operational capability expected by 2027. Slovakia is on a similar timeline, with their Vipers entering service progressively through 2026. This marks a historic moment, the complete elimination of Soviet-era fighters from two NATO air forces, replaced by aircraft that represent six decades of American aviation dominance. What we're witnessing isn't just an arms deal, it's NATO's eastern wall being reinforced with steel, titanium, and the most advanced avionics money can buy. I'm curious, do you think the Block 70 is enough to deter Russian aggression, or should Bulgaria and Slovakia have pushed for F-35s instead? Drop your thoughts in the comments below, and if this analysis opened your eyes to what's really happening in European air power, smash that subscribe button. Stay informed, stay vigilant.